All right, everybody, let's go ahead and pick up where we left off on our last uh, video. Uh, on our last video, we learned how to add a new theme that DreamHost didn't originally install with WordPress. It's pretty easy. Um, now let's go ahead and start getting to the real part, uh, the real fun. Let's start blogging or whatnot. So if you remember, you're gonna have to log into the back end. We have already logged into the back end. Uh, if not, you're gonna have to use your admin and password. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with posts. So the difference between a post and a page, a post is essentially going to fall into a sc scrolling list of uh, updates, where a page is something that's more static. Uh, this isn't uh, a rule that can't be broken, but uh, this is the easiest way to think about it. Uh, posts would typically f scroll down in this area, and pages would show up up here. So pages are more static. So like if, if you're going to make a contact us page, it would be a page. Or if you're going to make like an update talking about how you just installed this great uh, new blog, you would uh, actually do it as a post. So let's go ahead and run, run you through the, the post editor. So if you click on posts, you're going to see the post that you have already posted. WordPress automatically posts this so you have something to show. So let's go ahead and add new. When you add a new post, you have uh, this bar, which is the title bar. And uh, basically, this is the title of the post. And uh, this is your, the, the, basically the text or the, bold, the body of the post. And so let's just go ahead and say, this is a test post. And since I don't really feel like writing a whole bunch of stuff because my spelling is horrible and you guys probably laugh at it, I'm going to grab some, some text from, let's say, a text generator. Here we go. And I use this a lot for generating. And we're just going to make, mm, say, two paragraphs worth of stuff. I'll paste this in. So you have a visual editor and an HTML editor. You will probably end up using the visual editor. Um, however, once you get comfortable with HTML, I would suggest you using this. Um, yeah, so you have uh, your text in here. Let's go ahead and hit Save Draft. And let's preview it. This will show you what your post will look like. This is your test post. So look at that. You're already blogging. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? So let's go back in and let's say you wanted to add an image. You would click right here. This will open up a, a media file manager. So all you do from here is you select your files. So you hit select and um, I was just selling uh, a printer on Craigslist. So we'll go ahead and show you the, the printer. Upload it. Goes ahead and up, uploads it makes a thumbnail, you get to name it. Uh, we'll just say this is the top side of the printer box. And uh, you don't want it, you don't necessarily always want it full size, you probably want it uh, medium. And uh, I would typically say alignment left and insert in a post. Sometimes it'll work different depending on how the theme is set up. They may not have it. Uh, each theme is different. Uh, each designer has different Standards, I would suggest if you're going to be serious about blogging, use Thesis. Uh, but yeah, so here you go. So this that's how you add a, uh, an image. And it's quick, quick and easy. And so let's say we wanted to post this. Let's go back to the admin and hit publish. Well, before we do that, let's, let's talk about categories and tags. Tags are basically, uh, you can tag it with anything you want. Uh, typically, categories are used as um, folders to hold specific types of posts. Uh, I would suggest using a ton of tags and only using a few categories. So for this one, we'll just use um, new cat, add a new category and um, technology. If I spelled that right, <laughs> I love spell check. If you can't tell, so we'll go ahead and then we'll say printer and comma top side specs. We'll hit add. So I'll add all those for us. Let's publish. So once we publish it, it's going to allow us to view the post. Let's go ahead and do so. 
open it a new tab for ease of use and let's close the preview in that window this one so this is live on our site and you'll see here it shows p equals three <clears throat> that's not very friendly because it doesn't define it so let's fix that real quick I should have probably ran you through how to do this in the settings but since uh, we're doing this on the fly here we go go to settings and go to permalinks once you're here I would suggest you use uh, just the post name so to do this the easiest way is to just click on name or month and name and just remove this so what this will do is once you update this save it let's go back to this and refresh you'll see up here will change see now it's the title of this so this is a test post this is a test post it's great good for SEO uh, you'll see that this is up here looks great so hope this hopefully this has been helpful um, actually before I end this tutorial let's let's go over a page too let's go back to uh, the admin area start with pages so go ahead and hit add new once again we'll, we'll do a contact us um, and hi interested in You can do so easily at nick at nicholasreese.com. Now, this is where you're going to get to see how the, the actual editor works. Let's say we want to make this a link. You're going to want to highlight it and copy and add a link here. Now, we want to remember that this is a, an email. So you're going to want to set it as mail to colon then the address and insert it. So just publish this real quick since this is just a rough overview of how the back end works. And we'll refresh it and you should see it appears up here. And there we go. So interested in contacting me, email me at nicholasreese.com. All right, hopefully this has been informative and I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks.